hello hello good people how are you good morning good evening good afternoon from wherever you're watching this video from it's your girl kathy glamorous the queen of glam and glitz you already know so guys karibuni 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 sana 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 i'm sure you're wondering what segment is this guys so guys this segment it is a new show hosted by you was truly called the anonymous escapades are you ready guys are you ready to find out more about the anonymous escapades okay guys so without any further ado guys let's get straight into the video So guys, Karibuni Tena, Karibuni once again, like I told you, this segment is called The Anonymous Escapades. And I'm sure you're wondering, Kathy, does this mean that you are done giving us lifestyle content, giving us vlogs and all that? No, guys, I am not done. So we got you're gonna be getting a cocktail of everything, but this segment is going to be running every Tuesdays and Thursday, guys. Every Tuesday and Thursday, guys. So, okay, so in case you're wondering, uh, let me brief you more about the anonymous escapade. Okay, guys, so the anonymous escapade it is brought to you by real life events real life stories and real life people but here's the gist we choose to keep the people anonymous so that they can be confident to share their stories their character development drama so that you guys can see that people bad 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 so this idea was initially born by my friends so for those of you who don't know, I am a very good storyteller and maybe after this episode, you are going to tell me if I am a good storyteller or not. Yeah, so my friends were like, Kathy, I think you're a really good, you're really good at storytelling. You should start giving people stories. And I was like, hmm. So I asked a few of my friends, do you mind me sharing maybe zile story to look what me peana through daku, but anonymously, we will not be mentioning names, we will be giving stage names. So yes, guys, without any further ado, guys, I am super, super excited to introduce to you my new baby, the Anonymous Escapades. Okay, guys, so today's video, by the title of this video, I'm sure you're like, damn. What you going to click up because this title is just to die for. So the title is I caught my boyfriend cheating on me with his mother. Allah. 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 Aish. Manze ukuinje wase wa mepigwa bad bad character development. But yeah, guys, I am glad that people are willing to share their stories with me. Na kama hii segment ina kubamba, I'll be opening an Instagram account whereby you can share with me your story. It does not have to be your actual account. You can open a swedo. Or I'll share the numbers below there down the screen. You can send me a message on that number and I will give your story anonymously. So guys, the gist is... I get the story, somebody sends me their story, somebody sends me an audio or a call, you, you can call me anonymously and explain to me the story. So according to how I will grasp the story and how I will understand the story, I am going to be coming here on this platform to narrate for you. So are you ready guys? Let's go. So today, our subject our subject to Tamuita Nani, our subject will call him Moafrika. We'll call him Moafrika, the cheater. And this other lady will call her Star. So we have Moafrika and we have Star. So, yes, so this was anonymously sent to me. Let me 
read it for you guys as you can see i'm also going to share the screenshot with you guys over here as you can see this is the screenshot and we can read it together so this this is how this person narrated this story they were like hi kathy well i am glad you came up with this concept and honestly i have always wanted the world to know my story and which better way than to do it anonymously oh yes girl i agree with you which better way so a few years ago i was crazy in love and a fool to be precise i used to work from hand to mouth but at the moment i was under my parents shelter so my responsibilities were not that tight mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i feel you let's go whatever i earned was to make myself happy mm, okay Anyway, this story goes way beyond and I'm glad that you had this platform that I could even share my audio so you could understand the story. Yeah, girl, by the way, let me tell you guys, this story, hey, prepared to be my blog. <laughs> I caught my boyfriend cheating on me with his mom. Let me tell you, Kathy, I have never felt so deceived jesus guys guy guys are you ready story 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 come story 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 come so guys this story i listened to it and i'm going to narrate the story as if i was in that mix so i hope this show beat our bamba and please make sure to like share and comment and also let me know what you would like me to improve with this show if you like this new segment please don't watch usia chepite just support support a girl okay so let's start the story so in our story we have subject a and subject b subject a is ta the girl who was betrayed and subject b is moafrika moafrika is the person who betrayed the girl okay so let's okay so apparently now who you dem uh ako kwa relationship na njama ako in love ako in love na kumbuke pale alitoaambia like hakukuwa na responsibility responsibility zake zilikuwa tu zake so according to the story of this chile um alikuwa anaendanga kwa nyumba ya boyfriend yake and the boyfriend used to live in a single house kwa wale ambao wanajua struggle the real ghetto you know you know if you know you know so yeah the boyfriend used to live in a single house where there was just kitanda hakukuwa na kitu kingine ilikuwa tu bed peke yake and they will just go there you know honeymoon ma penzi you know you know how we do these things okay so the thing was akukuwa na netflix and chill manzi and this at this guy's place akukuwa na na tv so this chick star star akalipwa mshande so after star amelipwa mshande ako like okay guys and remember she said that she she used to live from hand to mouth okay so i'm assuming maybe alilipwa mshara ya cuz aku nipatia details but let me say maybe alipwa mshara ya 15k and she decided you know what i want to surprise my boyfriend with a tv so guys listen to this story and listen to it very well so uyu dem um before that the before she made that decision to buy this dude that a tv the previous day alikuwa ametaka aende a confirm angalie tu kama boyfriend yake yako area so that ajipange vile atakuja a surprise boyfriend yake na tv okay so the previous day akienda where the boyfriend used to live inje kwa parking lot so sorry i had to stop guys cuz kulikuwa na kelele inje but let's continue so guys remember previously i told you that um who you day malikuwa ameenda ku confirm kama you know chali yake yuko around cuz she wanted to set up and to put a surprise and aka your tv a star wanted to go and put the tv ndo mu africa kikuja ah afurahie anyway now this is the team hapo nje kwa parking lot yao Ah uh, mu Africa alikuwa anapenda kuchill hapo sana. Um kukula jaba for those who don't know cut. No mukoka mira anyway bila unataka kuita. So alikuwa anapenda kuchana. So star akaenda kuangalia mu Africa. Mu Africa come spot from afar. Unasikia guys we copy each other. Ako hapo amemspoti from afar. Akatoka nje ya gari mbio from the parking lot 
akakimbia akakimbia kaenda kaambia sita eh ni aje ni aje msupa eh poa eh kwa gari niko na madha kwa gari please usichome usiongee mob eh niko na madha yangu lakini later nataka nitampeleka kwa sister yangu alafu unaweza come to chill ah sita kamwambia eh hey, mama kwa hapo si wacha ni you know wacha nisalimie madha yako ah, okay akoleke hey, kuja basi umsalimie na usifanye nini? Usichome. Remember alipatiwa repercussions za kambu usichome nyamaza, usichome usalimiane tu. So dem akaenda and I'm assuming right now Odem ako like I'm finally meeting mother in law. Eh? So ni ile amenyenyekea lazima anyenyekea nini 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 nini. So guys, si akaenda kae mu Afrika kama introduce kwa mother in law. Mother in law guys, acha let me tell you why I'm doing mother in law. Hmm. So, hey Stamina I'm assuming hata maybe alisalimia mother in law hivi yako eh kamo kamo marhaba <laughs> hey Nairobi is one big bedroom kizeni so akamsalimia and that was it na yeye akaenda and the following day the plan continued dema lilipo mshara yake na whatever she has been saving akasema you know what at least at least kuange na Netflix and chill if you know you know si kuangalia ukuta aka decide you know I'll go and buy my boyfriend a TV so akaenda kashikia nani Mwafrika TV Mwafrika mzima amenunuliwa TV at this point so akikuja kwa parking lot sasa like amekuja na Uber from straight to uh, from town amekuja akikuja anakutana na gari ya Mwafrika iko hapo kwa parking lot na according to vile alikuwa ameongea na Mwafrika Mwafrika alikuwa amemshow mimi si yuko nimeenda kurun errands plan mother alinitu alinituma hmm akashanga ai I thought that huyu huyu Mwafrika yuko and uh, size would be the perfect time kwenda ku set up your TV. Na Mwafrika akikuja jioni akute surprise. We? Kumbe ni yeye alikuwa ako ya surprised. Sasikize ni story wa dau. Now <laughs> This is where the story gets as interesting as it can be. What I mean ilikuwa zile za wa si mademu kuinje wametendwa. Alafu mnaanza kusema ti oh, oh mademu anataka watu wako na dose juu nini. Let me tell you the story of Star and Mo Africa. So, hey, hey Star kauliza, "Ai, umsisi aliniambia." Anyway, akasema mimi sita mcall cause already hapa niko na TV. Akaambia cab guy, "Tebu tulia hapo, niende nisafishe rada niangalie kama rada ni safi so that nipandishe nini ITV." Na alikuwa hadi amekuja na mtu wa kuweka TV, I guess. I'm not sure she didn't give me um, those details. So hapo nje kwao there was a jaba base. Watu wanajua jaba, ma stories za jaba hata yeye yenyewe anawapatia size ni story ya jaba. <laughs> kulikuwa na jaba base na Mwafrika ali, um, alikuwa na sister yake around hiyo jaba base eh. so eh, star ameingia amekutana na na sister ya Mwafrika akamuuliza eh hey, mambo eh nani Mwafrika alikuwa ameniambia yuko area but naona gari yake wase women are wicked some women are wicked tebu acha niwaambie can you imagine sister ya Mwafrika just started laughing ati <laughs> ni lady ana sonya eh i'm just imagining ako hivi hi staka shanga what are these si ni nini bana nini shida yako so apparently mpaka auntie ya muafrika walikuwa hapo wakichana akamuuliza eh mumeona muafrika alikwambia kwa api hi muafrika ako juu enda upstairs umuangalie eh dem akashanga hi Okay, akasema okay, sawa sawa. Oh, Wacha, niende upstairs niangalie mu Afrika juu. Eh, hey, okay, nisafishe tu rada. Uh, if at all, kama ni kumsurprise, nitamsurprise tu na TV. Sita you know, na, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing this is how she was reasoning. Nitamsurprise na TV, you know, sita ingia like uh, yani sitaenda ni set up and all that. Anyway, let's see how. Let's find out what happened, guys. Okay. So, Dema kapanda stairs ana kwa ana uno kwa uno aste kwa aste <laughs> kapanda stairs so the first thing alikuwa anakaribishwa kwa mlango ya Mwafrika ni viatu za dem na akiangalizo viatu anaona mm -mm. 
hizi viatu hadi shosho shosho yangu anaweza vaa hata babu yangu yani hizi si viatu ya, ya demrika ya ya stam naelewa mnanipata and let me tell you if there's one thing that kills a lady to the knee is that view ya kupata uko kwa nyumba ya chale yako ati unapata kuna viatu nje lazima nitoke hapa nikisha juu nina Yes. my friend hiyo <laughs> inakwanga eh hey, inakwanga death wish nyingine si mzuri sana anyway so akashanga whatsapp so akagonga mlango star so ana knock mlango mu afrika fungua mu afrika ko like ni nani ai akashanga ko like i'm assuming al al ko like babe ni mimi fungua Guess what was say men can embarrass you Mu Africa had the audacity kumwambia we ishia tutafanya nini tutaongea ishia we shall speak I at this point day manashanga kwani what kind of uh, madness is this I sasa so, so, I'm assuming waters were rising tumbo imeja moto tumbo sezo <coughs> dem stamina mm, anyway so according to star akateremka downstairs akarudi pale jaba base pale sister ya muafrika na anti ya muafrika waliku walikuwa mm. akaenda akamwambia eh muafrika yuko but mimi nimetoka hapo but ananiambia ti shia tutaongea guys ndo nawaambia wanawake sisi sumu sumu we lack starting the pot guess what guys sister ya muafrika akamuuliza how jaingia hey tebu kunywanga kwanza hii shorts uichape ndo ufunguke kichwa uende huko hai mstaka shanga kwa nini udem ameni insistia hivyo wakati akamwambia my friend unachezwa endo uko confirm haujaingia uko ndani <laughs> dem star at alichemuka so i'm imagining star amechemuka her body is shaking she's panicking cuz mimi when i'm mad personally me my whole body shakes i turn red alishika hiyo kamzingzing akaigonga gu 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 we my pants wewe can never be me can never <laughs> my pants anyway so star after amekunywa hizo shots zake akapanda uno kwa uno and remember all this time kuna mse anamgojea na tv kwa gari amemchill tu guys <laughs> anyway so akapanda stairs akapanda stairs akapanda stairs akaenda akagonga mlango tena kum 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 Afrika nimekwambia fungua hii mlango <laughs> walifungua akufungua at this point sasa anasikia ni kama anadhirikuo the kids in there say ah kudhirikiwa yani ni kufanywa like mtu anakutease it's like somebody is teasing, uh, teasing the hell out of you you know akagonga tena at this point anasikia giggles hmm. my friend let me tell you there is something that is called blind range there's something that is called blind range when that blind range hits you you do not you do not even know where energy adrenaline comes from hapo unaweza ruka hadi kutoka fifth floor na ushuke kama umesimama hivi <laughs> oh guys sema mambo imechemka yeah mambo imechemka so according to this chick she went to the farthest corner farthest corner of the of the what do you call it corridor kulikuwa na corridor i'm assuming akakuja kisen bolt kisen bolt kisen bolt wa mapenzi guess what guys mlango zilipwanga zile za mbao the zile za mbao zenye zu lock zile za zamani so mlango ilianguka the door dropped dead down on the floor ilianguka and sasa at this point dem alikuwa nasikia kama atatokuwa na wazimu kichwa itaruka because guys imagine uko na surprise downstairs mtu wako akufunguli mlango anakuambia tiishia mtabonga alafu ukifungua mlango ukifungua mlango 
I can feel her pain. By the way, guys, I can feel her pain. Like literally, I'll nilikuwa na narrative story. I'm like, oi, 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 shuka baba na usitumane. Gosh, guys, Mwafrika and the mom, the mom was screwing. So I'm assuming who they malingia or like, babe, your mom. <laughs> it was so. I'm just assuming. So uyu uyu mnyanyes to mute mnyanyes. Who mnyanyes are called like mom? I call like you're cheating on me with your mom. Anaskia mnyanyes are naita mo Africa babe. What the hell is happening? So lini ambe oni kazingi ako. Haya kapatikana. Mm, 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 mm. Haya. Ka Let me tell you, ladies. It went as crazy as it could be. And even me, if I was in her shoes, manze pia mini ngevuruga. So star alivuruga, alivuruga, na ka make sure that I'm evuruga. And the whole place came outside down. Mwafrika na yeye akoku wase inje. I'm assuming drama kusabu, okay. Kwa kakijiji ka ploti, sa hizo drama ina happen. Drama is happening. Real drama is happening. You understand? So I'm assuming watu walikuja, watu wakakuja, watu wakakuja. I'm a cause drama. Guess what, guys? Like I told you, men can embarrass the living hell out of you. Shosh, mnyanyez, alitoka kama amefunga a bed sheet. Ni atoroke sasa akimbie kwa gari yake. Imagine Mwafrika utter the audacity. Mwafrika, this is what Mwafrika did. Mwafrika alitoka, akafuata mnyanyez, na akata sta hapo na usta yake ote. Vile amesha inapo, kama anajiongelesha guys. And she was left there. She has done all the drama. Ami mwagilia vitanda maje, tindo wasikuje kulala tena. I'm assuming, I'm wondering what was going through her head guys. And at this point, the chick was really time is up guys and yeah at this point the chick was really frustrated she was really i i can just imagine what she was going through like what was going through her head mtuwako you assume that ume meet mama ke kumbe ume meet sugar mami wake ume meet auntie wake waharia mse monyana wa sustainia and i'm wondering kwenye uwa auntie waharia likuwa wanini wase what do you think guys kama alikuwa na auntie waharia this mother Niggas and a fakwa alikuwa place and a she place fiti and a drive gari fiti, but in a single house, ato wanti a hari akwa na double honestly. Ato wezi nunulia benten wako TV at least, eh? Akina star wa enjoy. But anyway, guys, that's the story of Star and Mo Africa. And I'm sure you're wondering, did they go back together? Never, never, never. The chick took the TV and gifted the TV to her mom. Alienda kapatia mama ke TV ya kamambia mom, guess what? Surprise! I've been saving to buy you a TV. I'm just imagining akena kuambia mama ke vile iso adu zilikuwa zilatoka na uchungu but yeah guys. Lesson today, moral story of today is that men can embarrass you. If you're a man and you're watching this story, let me know. Have you ever pulled such a stand? J, ulibambo. And if you're a woman, ushawai, bamba mtu wako. Please, I am looking forward to your stories, guys. I am looking forward to your stories. I promise that I'm going to give your stories anonymously. This is an agreement between me and and the people who give me their stories this is anonymously 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 guys i hope you love this story and the way that i narrated it i am looking forward to your comments guys let me know do you think i'm a good storyteller yes guys i promise you every tuesday and thursday you will be getting an episode of the anonymous escapade thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe this video adios